first asked them to do so on an emergency basis, uh, and then by not taking it you on an expedited suck. basis, sort of taking it under regular order. You really do. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny, call me old fashioned, but I do read my history books and. Freedom of the press means actually just freedom of speech for all people. There was never really a protected class. The Constitution to talk about who the press are, right? It's people who wish to speak freely. Benjamin Franklin famously wrote as an anon, right? He wrote under a pseudonym and published Poor Richard's Almanac, right? Like he was one of the first anons, right? Anonymous writers, people, journalists, a ton of the founding fathers had like sort of dabbled in publication and press. And they wouldn't call themselves journalists. It was just how you would get your message out. Successful people were good at messaging. We're good at talking. We're good at speaking and speaking the truth. And so freedom of the press doesn't mean there's some type of like crystallized, ordained group of people that are allowed to speak over the rest of us. And we should be able to speak at them, right? Because we're the same. We're equal, right? Hmm. CNN trying to do a live shot at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> this is what every single CNN live shot should look like. Every single CNN live shot should look just like this. There isn't anything wrong with this. This is our democracy in action. This, this is our constitution in action. We don't have a democracy. We have a constitutional republic. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like in uh, photographic form, in video form. In North Carolina, or really states that should be in the bag for President Trump right now. That's an indication as to how much trouble he's in politically right now, Wolf. And as this crowd is chanting that there are members of the press here who suck, I should also point out, Wolf, what also sucks, getting the coronavirus. <laughs> oh my God. They're such dumbasses. Oh my God. How do these people, how? How do they keep going? How do they remain? How do they keep employment? There's no way. I mean, they 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 they're not actually keeping employment. Like, quite frankly, people people are done with this stuff. People want to hear from independent creators. They they they're sick of corporate news and the corporate media. They've been lied to enough, and it really doesn't matter if it's <laughs> here, here in here in a war zone in Israel where CNN literally allows themselves to get blasted in the face uh, by dirt, I guess. Like you literally, you literally chose that spot just for dramatic effect. I mean, it's, it's so pedantic. It's so embarrassing. It's so performative. It's so silly. Uh, but there is a real outcry from people, uh, at any event, right? Trump event, obviously Jim Acosta is going to be yelled at. What about today in front of the Supreme court, in front of the Supreme court, there were multiple, uh, there was a big hearing today on Donald Trump's immunity. And MSNBC was in front of the court. And MSNBC is obviously one of those programs that is literally fake news. And they got big time screamed at during their live broadcast, but they kept going back to this guy yelling at them. It's like they couldn't even, they can't, they can't even fathom a world where people wouldn't love them, right? Or adore them, grovel, or worship the ground they walk on. This is one of the funniest clips, I think purposefully funniest clips that exist in the world today. Check this out. This is from Morning Joe this morning. Uh, somebody yelling, yelling fake news throughout the entire broadcast and the reactions are just chef's kiss. Point out that by the way the court has handled this case, it's already made a decision that's affected the presidential election because by not agreeing to take it up when Jack Smith first asked them to do so on an emergency basis uh, and then by not taking it on an expedited basis, sort of taking it under regular order You're here. They've man. already created an, a significant delay here that means that this election case, however they rule, uh, can't go to trial probably before the fall. And now we come Yo, to exactly what they're man. considering what, here, yeah. which is the question of whether a president has absolute Yo, immunity. Uh, and then the, there's a second Yo, question here, which is whether man. anything that Donald Trump is accused of like, would actually constitute man. a president, a president act Yo, fake uh, news. implicated so, in the immunity question. Be yeah. Yo, fake news. Just making sure you're okay. Do you need, is everything okay? Yo, we hear someone yelling. Yeah, it's, it's fine. We have a heckler here outside. Well, yeah, okay. yeah, you know, I, 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 I've got to say, they obviously have been following the David Pecker testimony. They're yelling fake news. And they obviously want viewers to know that Donald Trump you're lied about uh, JFK's assassination, tried to blame 
uh, blame Ted Cruz. Uh, he's yelling fake news also because Donald Trump lied along with David Pecker. Uh, they work together to lie about Ben Carson, to lie about Hillary Clinton. Fake news all around. So I want to thank him for actually uh, <laughs> framing it, framing it, sure you- fr- framing it for us. We want to make sure you. <laughs> oh, you got him, Joe Scarborough. <laughs> Really? Well done. They're, they're so impressive. These TV people, they're so smart. <laughs> really great job, Joe. Well done. Great defense. You're so quick-witted. Really? Do, do you got more? Got more on the tape? Okay, but yeah. also we want everybody watching to know that that person screaming fake news, obviously talking about all the lies that Donald Trump perpetrated about Hillary Clinton and all of his opponents. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? What is he? What is he saying? What do you say? <laughs> like, you got him. Got boom. Roasted. In 2020. Go ahead. Or 2016. Go ahead. Where so in terms of, look, in terms of where the Supreme Court could come out on this, very few yeah, legal experts yeah, yeah. believe that they're going to adopt <laughs> Mr. Trump's argument yeah, like, that a president has like, absolute yeah. immunity. But there is a possibility that the court may yeah, decide that there are some yeah. decisions presidents make, for example, in the national security yeah, realm, that yeah. may that p- perhaps shouldn't be subject to the scrutiny yeah, of a prosecutor. Yeah. And if they do that, that could cause significant yeah, delay here because they may throw the case back down to the district court and ask the judge, Tanya Chutkin, to decide, OK, which of these acts alleged in this indictment mm-hmm. would constitute official acts? And likely almost none of them would because we're talking about Donald Trump's effort to overturn a presidential election as a candidate, as a politician, not as the president. But nonetheless, right. asking the judge to do that could significantly guy. further delay this case and may and mean that it may not get to trial before the november election so ari melber a lot to talk to you about let's stay with the immunity case there oh man no no telling if it's this guy i don't know if it's actually this legend back here i don't know if this is the guy i don't know i'm not sure is this joe rogan i don't know i'm not sure i you can't tell i'm not exactly certain if that was that guy but i'm telling you like MSNBC getting trolled can go directly into my veins, all right? Directly into my veins. This is what happened on MSNBC (laughs) about a year ago when uh, a live shot, a live shot in downtown New York uh, had a Let's Go Brandon guy (laughs) behind the live shot. (laughs) Super good. (laughs) Does he come back? I don't think so. I think they cut to B-roll. I think they cut to B-roll. This guy, living legends. Living legends among us. It's not just MSNBC, by the way. Like, Lindsey Graham got trolled by a live audience at Fox News. Trump wins in court, and he wins the election. That's how this wins. Ends. How do you get to 34 counts on this, in your view? How do you... I think, I think that's actually literally people screaming in the audience about how much they hate Lindsey Graham. And so they they bring up Hannity's microphone and then bring it down, right, to stop people from screaming at him. And they, at least that's what I think was happening. Uh, people screaming in the audience has been really, really funny. This has been something that's been going on. And this was a clip we've been wanting to play for a while. Uh, a, a member of the Kennedy family uh, on, on CNN trying to endorse Joe Biden. And, uh, well... Leader for us, he stood with the United Auto Workers. He's um, he's a man we can trust and who carries forth Bobby Kennedy's values and John Kennedy's values. As you know, Kerry, the Biden campaign is concerned that your brother will uh, potentially take votes away from President Biden in some some of the very key and close swing states. Are you you concerned that your brother will play potentially a spoiler role in this election? You know, I think we all know this is going to be a very, very close election. So the only way Biden will win if everybody comes out and votes. The hell, man. What the hell? This is inside of the Biden event. So inside the Biden event, somebody is like some lunatic is just screaming, raving mad. Uh, You know, I got to tell you, I I really miss the old days. I I miss when actually uh, we didn't need to have somebody uh, yelling from behind the scenes during a live shot, we just tune in to the man himself and watch the destruction of the corporate media. Donald Trump 
in prime form at the White House. This is what we want back, ladies and gentlemen. We shouldn't have to, like, see little blips here and there and try to find the right troll and the right guy from yelling from far enough distance away as the security guard keeps him out. No, 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 no. Let the man stand behind the podium and do this. Go ahead. Let's give it a shot. Sir, uh, what do you say to Americans who are upset with you over the way you downplayed this crisis over the last couple of months? Uh, we have it very much under control in this country. The coronavirus is very much under control in the USA. It's going to disappear. It's like a miracle. It will disappear. Uh, at March 4th, uh, we have a very small number of people in this country infected. March 10th, we're prepared. We're doing a great job with it. It will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. What do you well, say to Americans who believe that you got this wrong? And I do want them to stay calm. And we are doing a great job. If you look at those individual statements, they're all true. Stay calm. Uh, it will go away. You know it, you know it is going away. And it will go away. And we're going to have a great victory. And it's people like you and CNN that say things like that, that uh, it's why people just don't want to listen to CNN anymore. You could ask a normal question. The statements I made are, I want to keep the country calm. I don't want panic in the country. I could cause panic much better than even you. I could do much. I would make you look like a minor league player. But you know what? I don't want to do that. I want to have our country be calm and strong and fight and win. And it will go away. And it is incredible, the job that all of these people are doing, putting them all together, the job that they're doing. I am very proud of the job they're doing, that Mike Pence is doing, that the task force has done that Honeywell and Procter and & Gamble and Mike and all of these people have done. I'm very proud. It's, it's almost a miracle, and it is, the way it's all come together. And instead of asking a nasty, snarky question like that, you should ask a real question. And other than that, I'm going to go to somebody else. Please, go ahead, please.